Ever wonder how you make an award-winning film without a script? Well, director Mike Lee, cinematographer Dick Pope, and production designer Susie Davies are going to tell us how they did it with Mr. Turner. I'm Carrie with Pace. I'm here with Mike Lee. Tell me about directing this film, putting this film together. What was it that really drew you to Mr. Turner? Well, Turner is a great painter, obviously, mm -hmm. on yeah. the international scale. Also, he's a great, uh, he's the greatest of English painters. Great character, cinematic paintings. A film has not been made about Turner before, a movie. I thought it's about time we did it. Really. Now, I noticed from um, the cast that you put together that you've used a lot of people that you've worked with before. Is that on purpose? Do you like keeping like a family together? If you work with someone and it works and it's good, right. you come back to them again. Mm -hmm. But you know, equally, there are people in this film, actors who I've never worked with before, right. and they deliver the goods as well, you know, uh, especially some young ones. Look, uh, you know, but if, if, it, if it works, you've come back. And so people like my cinematographer, Dick Pope, we've been together since 1990, you know, and uh, we're on the same page. We speak the same language. We, we uh, go to Chinese restaurants together, you know. What were some of the difficulties in filming Mr. Turner? Well, we did it for, for a very low budget, and it doesn't look like it. We would love to have gone to Venice, because Turner famously painted Venice, but we didn't because we couldn't afford it. But um, the difficulties really were getting, what, as we say in English, a gallon into a pint-sized pot, you know, <laughs> and cramming everything into a film of two and a half hours that spans 26 years. You know. <laughs> but uh, I think we've succeeded, I don't know. Tell me about doing the photography for this very beautiful artistic film. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, there's a lot of cameramen who would kill me to get the opportunity to have done it. I know that. What's and, the process uh, in deciding how you're going to get a shot or...? I would say, firstly, that because there's no script, that might, there is no script, that the, the actual film is kind of evolves in an organic way as we go along. Before we start, I have a look, a visual kind of look for the film that is in place and so that I've got something the continuity of which I hold on to throughout the experience of my, making up the scenes with the actors as we go so I've got that and it's something that I have to hang on to otherwise I'm lost in this wilderness of not knowing what I'm doing so I, I choose a look for the film, obviously with Mike's um, collaboration with both I test extensively show him different ideas for the look of the film and then finally we come to a um, thing. And on this, I chose the colouring of the film to be very much like the paint, the paint, the actual physical paint that Turner used when he was painting the canvases back then. So I used very similar colouration to try and evoke that feel of the paintings if that makes sense. It makes perfect sense to and me. And then I suppose I would say that the, we try to capture the spirit of the times evoking the light and the landscape and the sea to show really to the audience what he experienced, what he was looking at. That It's like a film where you're walking through the paintings where you're, ex you can, you can get excited about the light and the sea and the landscape. It makes you look, it makes you see. This is beautiful. Thank you. Tell me about designing it and it being an artistic film about an artist. Tell well, me about that. It's a gift for a production designer, an absolute gift to do. Not only working with Mike, but the subject matter as well. So to um, completely inhabit the research was, it was a fantastic experience in itself. Before we even got filming, I'd already become a Turner expert. I'm your phone a friend, um, as did most of my crew as well. So um, we just had a great time researching it. And then during the filming, working with such a fantastic crew, yeah. it was it was a it was a gift of a job and a dream of a job, and I only have fond memories of it. 